What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Kay. Back with another video, guys. Um, guys, this past week has been very, very emotional for me. And I wanted to make this video because I document my life and, you know, good and bad moments, you know. And as hard as it is for me to make this vlog, I really wanted to do it because I know that um, in my heart, I just always just want to be honest, always want to be, you know, true to myself. And I, the last vlog that I shot, I got news that my grandmom wasn't doing well. And I didn't think it was to the extreme that it ended up being. And so that's why I was trying to take my mind off of it. I was trying to like do something to make me smile because I didn't want to think about it. And I just want to be around my friends and just, you know, not think about it. But later on that night, I got another phone call saying that um, they weren't sure if my grandmother was gonna make it through the night and that I need to hop on a flight as soon as possible. So I literally hopped on a plane at five in the morning and got to Jersey at 1 p.m. Shout out to my family for being there for me and thank you for your support and your love and just everything. Like, you know, we, we're getting through this together. And, you know, it just shows me that, you know, we all we got and at the end of the day, that's what matters and so um i got there my cousin dominique picked me up from the airport and i went straight to my grandmother's house and she was not doing well and i don't want to get into details because i'm gonna get emotional but my grandma my mama the woman who was such a bright light in my life is no longer here and I'm trying to um, my grandma is gone my grandma my grandma passed away on Monday I was with her the whole weekend Friday Saturday Sunday I slept you know right next to her and she passed Monday morning and it was just the most devastating feeling I've ever felt in my life. I've never experienced losing a loved one this close to home. And it's just putting a lot into perspective for me guys. Like I always value life, but I literally like think of life so much differently now. And I just want to say that I just, I don't know what to say. <sighs> My grandma had dementia and her health started to decline. And, you know, it's just, I'm just very sad. My whole family is sad and devastated over this. And she was the matriarch of our family. She literally, was everything my grandma since I can remember my grandma has always been this funny just bubbly kind loving understanding talented person and I've always looked up to her I've always admired her and she has showed me how a man should treat you. She has showed me, thanks to my grandpa, <laughs> she has showed me how to be strong. She showed me how to cook. She showed me how to bake. She showed me so many things, guys. I truly, truly, truly would not be the woman I am today without her because she literally 
every kid in their life needs someone who feels like they're being understood. And she was my person for that. I always felt understood around her. She never made me question who I wanted to be. She never questioned why I wanted to be it. She just accepted me for who I am. And she embraced me. And she encouraged me to always do what's in my heart. And I honestly don't think I would have the courage to follow my dreams if it wasn't for her, you know? She always encouraged me to do what's in my heart. I remember always coming home to visit and I would show her what I'm doing and she would always just be so impressed and just, you know, like, oh my goodness, wow. Like, you know, like she just always was that support for me. And that's so important, you know, that we have somebody in our life that supports us and loves us unconditionally. That's so important. And that's why it was just so devastating because she was this person to so many people my mom you know my aunts my cousins my every everyone you know um her husband my grandpa you know it's just she affected so many lives and it's just you know it's just hard to even un it's hard to process the fact that she's no longer here like i still don't think i'm I'm like 100% processed that she's not here. Like, it, you know? And I spoke at her funeral. Her funeral was Thursday. And I wrote a letter to her. And, you know, I want to read it to you guys because <clears throat> it just means a lot to me. Like, honestly, like, I just, <sighs> I didn't vlog while I was home because I didn't want to put my family out there. You know, my family is very private. They're not into social media like that. They're not into YouTube. They don't want to be on YouTube. So I respect their privacy. But, um, you know. I just want to share this with you guys because I love you guys and I want you guys to cherish your loved ones for as long as you can because in today's time you just never know and this was unexpected for her to pass right before Christmas which is her favorite holiday is like crazy but I'm not shooting this vlog to for you guys to feel sorry for me you know or anything like that I just want to encourage you to you know love your loved ones while they're still here and appreciate them for who they are like do not take them for granted so yeah I just want to share this with you and hopefully and I'm gonna close on out and I made like a slideshow that you guys can watch um, dedicated to my beautiful, strong grandmother. I love you so much and I miss you. Um, so yeah, here we go. <sighs> Dear Mama, for as long as I can remember, you have always been there. Always there when it mattered the most. You have always been a positive, inspiring role model. I have always admired and looked up to you. You are such a huge part of my life and I appreciate the woman that you are. You have taught all of your granddaughters how to be strong women. I truly appreciate having a woman like you in my life. We wouldn't be the women we are without you. I have so many precious memories. I am truly thankful for you teaching me how to cook and to always be myself. You taught three generations how important it is to keep God first. Being around you inspired me. You are a talented artist and we're good at so many different things. An amazing painter, beautiful keyboardist, and the best chef. You loved solving puzzles and playing solitary. You loved the Golden Girls. You loved watching the Golden Girls. You always made me laugh and smile even when I was feeling down. I confided in you and you showed me I could trust you. 
Your house was our family safe haven and I would read your cookbooks, experiment with your recipes, and you would critique them. I vividly remember you showing me how to make your infamous mac and cheese and baked beans, I, my absolute favorites. When I told you my dreams, you never shot them down. You always encouraged me to do what's in my heart. Every kid needs to hear that. You made me feel understood, accepted, and supported. Every weekend when I was 14, you, Pop, and I would go to Applebee's. I always loved spending quality time with you and Pop. Both of you are my favorite people in this whole world. A beautiful, strong angel, that's exactly what you are. You're in a peaceful state, not in pain anymore. I felt angels surrounding the room Sunday night as I lay beside you. It's a painful feeling that we won't see you anymore, but we feel you in our hearts. I just want to say thank you for being such a bright light in my life. You mean a lot to so many people, but to me, you have always been on a pedestal no one could touch. I will always remember your infectious laugh, your giant heart, your beautiful smile, your warm hugs, and your unconditional love. The love of a grandmother. There's nothing like it. I am so proud to be a granddaughter. I wrote this letter from the bottom of my heart, and I speak for all of your grandchildren when I say we love you and we'll be seeing you in our dreams. We will honor you forever. So I spoke that, and I wrote that from the bottom of my heart. Right now, I'm grieving this major loss in my life, guys. So I'm just realizing that certain things just need to, certain things just can't go on anymore. You know, I, I feel like I'm, I honestly want to make my grandmother proud. And that goes for every aspect in my life. My grandma always, you know, gave me got advice about men and things like that. And she always said she, you know, she wanted me to be happy. And don't ever let a man treat you with disrespect. Don't ever let a man, um, just, just different things. She just always, it always stuck in my head, you know? And so I'm gonna take everything that she taught me or all the advice that she gave and I'm gonna apply it to my life. I feel her in my heart, you know? I pray every day. I pray for my family every single day that we're gonna get through this together. You know, um, I honestly feel like it has brought my family closer. You know, we have spent the most time we've ever spent together in a long time. And as means that we are all we got and we need to be there for each other and we need to support each other because that's what my grandma would want. My grandma would want us all to come together. And you know, she was all about family. She was all about bringing us together and creating memories. You know, we went to Disney World. She put together vacations for us when we were kids. We all went to Disney World, you know, twice actually. And, you know, just different places. You know, the beach, Virginia, you know, Bush Gardens, um, Water Country. You know, we just always took family vacations and she was just all about bringing us together. So what I take from this experience so far, I mean, I'm still going through it is that you need to cherish your loved ones while they're here. Cherish your loved ones while they're still here and appreciate them for who they are and try to find the good. You know, no family is perfect, but try to find the good and love them because real love is unconditional. And my grandpa was there for my grandma from beginning to end. And that in itself is so beautiful. That's what love is, you know? God is love. And I'm gonna make my grandma proud. She's going to be very proud. 
And that's all I have to say, guys. I don't really have much to say. I'm still, you know. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next vlog.